Cousin Cal going to teach us all about raising hogfish? She'll be glad for the help. And it's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a 5-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go. I'm at least 7 gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. There's Cousin Calico's ranch. I'm raring to go. Ready? Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd has been rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. here if they know anything about those rustlers. Customers! <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Just Buckles. I'm Nelson Tosso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy and this is Luther and we're helping my cousin Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers! Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. Let us know if you hear anything that might help us, okay? Sure! What's that big thing? Hey. Oh, that, that's, um, it's a personal project. Nothing important. What are these plans? Oh, those are the blueprints for the custom belt buckles I make. They feature a stylish arching metal back with a personalized letter on the front. Any letter the customer wants. I'll bet they look nice. Oh, they're very popular. Did you see this picture? It's my son, Half Nelson. He was real cute as a baby, don't you think? He has your forearms. It says, just buckles. Is that 
what I think it is? I think. Oh! Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. I'm Perry. <gasps> er, uh, apricot. Some rustlers took my cousin's hogfish. Have you seen or heard anything suspicious? Rustlers? Well, I'll be stuffed in a jar full of dirt and swung round and round. Look, Freddy, maybe this is a clue. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Six, two, zero. I'll bet the Rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. And this is my pal, Luther. Well, hello. Hey, Fingered Phil. Dr. Pianoology, at your service. We're looking for some hogfish rustlers. Have you seen anything suspicious? Rustlers? No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano, and it knows me, but that's about it. Sorry. I can't help you out. That's okay. Thanks anyway. Thank you.
Kyle Ryder. I'm looking for Finn Eastwood. You feel guppy? Well, do ya? Youngsters, I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Loon. What can I do for you? One peppermint soda, please. Coming right up. Oops. Um, thanks anyway. Sorry about the mess. That's okay. Happens all the time. I should probably stop serving drinks that way. It's just too much fun. One pumpkin soda, please. You bet. Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Thank you. It's me. Listen. I want to talk to you about that note. Come on. Let's check out that hatch. Okay. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Six, two, zero. Construction. Back short. Two of my own seventeen 
children. Really? What are their names? Four and eleven. When you have 17 kids, it's much easier that way. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at High Tide. Road Road Clothes Cousin Calico! We found a clue! A clue? Well, I'll be. What is it? It's a note that says to meet at the Rusty Rustler. The Rusty Rustler? That's the old shipwreck behind the soda loom. Been a rustler hideout for generations. I wonder why I didn't think of that. You've had a lot on your mind. You reckon they're holed up there now? There's only one way to find out. Hard. We just have to punch in the combination. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at High Tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Six two zero. If we punch in the combination right, the lock will open. One, two, three. Four, five, six, one, two. <laughs> we did it! It's open! Boy, I'll say! I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Sarnett, what's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Ah, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still call it standing guard if you're sitting down. That must be one of the rustlers! <laughs> I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. Hey, Freddy, can we eat this note now like it says? Well, I guess we won't need the combination anymore. Well? I can see why the wrestlers didn't eat it. It tasted like paper. It's rustlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. If you were a rustler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine. A belt buckle like mine. And a fashionable bow tie. All rustlers dress exactly alike? Yep, we all wear the latest rustler gear. You can see from this picture in Rustlemania magazine. Hmm, a blue ten-gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with an S on it, and a bow tie. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers, so you can't come in. Cause this hideout is for rustlers only. Okay, thank you. This is the Rustler Hideout, all right. 
I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Okay. Hold it! This is a rustler's only area. I can tell you're not a rustler. You're not wearing a 10-gallon hat. You don't have a big old rustler-style belt buckle. You don't have a fashionable bow tie like I have. So I can't let you pass by. I'll bet if we were wearing rustler costumes, we could fool that guard. Whoever was working here is done now. That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks! Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you can say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about seven feet by seven feet ought to do it. These plans say they need a piece of wood seven feet by seven feet. Whatever you're cooking smells good. It's a Hera Slim special super stew. My own recipe. <sighs> oh, not quite ready. Are you the mailman? No, I'm Freddy Fish. Go away. I'm waiting for an important package. Oh, no. It's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. Something. Whoa, Nelly! Whoa! I think that did something. Catfish is sick in the morning. I think I heard something. Get me off here! Don't worry, we'll get you off of that. 
there. I'd be much obliged. Phew. I think that did something. Watch this, Freddy! I learned all about knots in the Fish Scouts. Um... Sheriff Zachariah Shrimp is in your debt. If there's ever anything you need, why, you just ask. Well, as a matter of fact, there are some wrestlers who... But I must be off. There's law breaking afoot somewhere. I can smell it! But... You there! No loitering! <clears throat> uh, Freddy! What? Oh! I'm sorry, Luther. <laughs> wow! That's amazing! I was in Fish Scouts, too. This could come in handy. Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best buddy, Luther. Hello, I'm you. That's silly. You're not Freddy. No. You, like the letter U. Just U? Is it short for something? Yes, it's short for Uriah, Jedediah, Euripides, Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, um, um, oh, now what was the rest of it? Um, we'll just call you you. Most folks do. It looks like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. Looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. Hmm. Are you ready to start? Here's a fun game. Pop the bubbles before they run into you. Yep, it broke down, so I'm delivering the mail on foot. Takes a little longer that way, though. you don't get splinters. Hey, Luther, what's round and purple and pokey? Eh, is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh. I wasn't afraid. It says free wood. Um, keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. 
you know who. And deliver it right away. It's urgent. Yes, sir. Oh. <clears throat> well, hi, kids. Hello. Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheelnut Company. Third largest distributor of bubblegum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go! Therefore I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Those are pickle fit locking wheel nuts. The finest wheel nuts ever made. They come in a variety of shapes, guaranteed to fit any wheel made after 1986. And if it doesn't fit, you can take advantage of our liberal exchange policy. Pickle fit nuts are all currently available at one low price. Just three purple sea urchins per nut. Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay up pronto. What's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. That's an awfully strange poem. We'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly! Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans, and you can have your nut when you've paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a fickle fit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Yes! Here's another purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one more purple sea urchin before the fabulous pickle fit wheel nut is all yours. Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course. You can select any shape you like. And if it doesn't work out for you, you can bring it back and exchange it for a different one. This one looks good. Thank you. No, thank you. Let's buy another wheel nut. I don't think we need one. Good evening, sir. May I interest you in... You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry! I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? 
All I can say is, it's really big. I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is. It's real good. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. Bigger than, well, just about everybody, I guess. You should see my brother. I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. Well, it's real nice to meet you both. My name is Fluke. use any glue or anything. Careful there. Don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Spoops him something awful. What's he got against glue? At last. Hello, Mr. Tippet? Go away. I'm busy. What's there to do inside a mailbox? I'm hermiting. Oh. Mr. Tippet, do you think we could have this old mailbox door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to hermit in peace. Thank you. Are you ready to start? <laughs> I doubt it, but I can fit a lot of folks in my mouth. That's how come I'm the cabaret. Cabaret? We put on plays and shows and things right inside my mouth. In your mouth? That sounds interesting. Could we take a look? Well, the cabaret's closed right now, but sure, take a look. Neat! Hey, look! It's a 10-gallon hat! Oh, boy! Oh. It's stuck in there pretty good! Yeah! I wouldn't want to hurt her. We need some dental floss or something like that. Come on, Luther! Let's try this! <laughs> people see out of these things? Oh, wait, there's an eye hole. I think you could use a little bit smaller hat. They make smaller ones? What about 
cake! Will you eat cake? Here, try it! But... It's chocolate! Yeah. We've got the hat unstuck from between your cheeks. A little floss was all we needed. Well, that's a relief. It was driving me crazy. Can we borrow it? Sure. I'd only get it caught in my teeth again anyway. Thank you. Thanks for getting it out. You're welcome. It says, it says, Cabaret. Gee, there's a porthole. Let's try to get over there. We can't get in there. The water level is too low. I wonder if there's some way we could move the sail out of the way without being able to reach it. That's part of my disguise. That's not gonna do me any good. That's not gonna do me any good. I think there's a handle missing from this crank. That's not gonna do me any good. That's not gonna do me any good. Part of my disguise. I don't think I need that right now. That's part of my disguise. I don't think I need that right now. We made it. I knew we could do it. Purple sea urchin! We're rich! It's a crank handle. Didn't we see something a while ago that needed a handle? What was it? I can't remember. Well, we'll take it with us. Why is the room spinning? <laughs> <laughs> 
not, Luther. You are. Oh, that's better. Hey, look! This place is filled with water now! Oh, boy! I see another purple sea urchin! It's lemongrass. Is that anything like lemonade? It's a little more sour than lemonade is. Boy, you're not kidding. I kind of like it though. Really? Container. This could come in handy. M. S. I wonder what we could use to get those screws out. Buy your pack of bubble gum, please. Excellent, excellent. Super rubber bubble is the most durable gum on the market. You won't be disappointed. Now, the gum is two purple sea urchins. So you can give me the second one right away. Or if you like, I can start a gum layaway plan for you. And I'll give you the gum when you pay me the balance. That's fair. Here's the other purple sea urchin for the pack of gum. Splendid, splendid. Here you go. It's my last pack. Maybe even the last pack in the entire hemisphere. You've made a wise purchase. Thank you. No refunds. Of gum? No thanks. I can't chew gum. It gives me hives. That's too bad. It's an empty spice container. I don't think I need.
Could let us buy? Sorry, can't. Why is that? I think I'm stuck. Oh. Have some more. That's not gonna do me any good. you eat cake? Here, try it! But, it's chocolate! Yeah. <gasps> sure, just bring me a letter to put on it and I'll get to work. Here, this is for the belt buckle. Okay, stand back!
my best work. All that's missing is a belt. Here you go. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Torso. Please, call me Nelson. Goby, I'm at my wit's end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy. Where'd they get the accordion? Uh, I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Ooh. Might be that the hogfish done up and rustled themselves too. Can't ever tell with hogfish. was you, Luther. Oh, yeah. than it looks. Here, would you like this harmonica? Would I? Oh boy! Huh? Well, this is great! Oh, here, have this lovely bow tie in exchange with my compliments. Thanks. Thank you so much! Now, I can play the blues again. All I ever wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah, but I'm going back in. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio! What do you think? It might 
be a little big for you. But do I look like a rustler? Oh! will make me look even more like a rustler. There, this ought to fool him. Now, let's rescue those hogfish. Yeah. Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Wait, I'm coming with you. Good thinking, Luther. Let's try to get past the guard. Hold it! This is a... Well, howdy, fellow wrestler! Ahem, howdy! I reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um... Poor Mori, he's having a terrible time with the hogfish. Well, go on in! He'll be glad to see you! Thank you! We're inside! Which way do you think the hogfish are? Well, I think I hear squealing coming from... Hey! You two aren't rustlers! What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere! Mr. Big will know what to do with you! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. What do we do now? It didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. Like there might be a way out under all these cannonballs. Phew! These are heavy. There, that does it. are the missing hogfish, all right. We're not missing. We know just where we are. Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. I guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. Hear something? Like a creaking noise? I think it came from out there. Look at this neat hook! Do you think maybe it belonged to a pirate? I don't know, but I bet it will come in handy. Here, why don't you hang on to it? Okay. There! What are we gonna do with that? You'll see. This 
this should free those hogfish. Luther, prepare to drop anchor. Ready, ready. Fire away. Let go! Come back! Please come back! We're going home. The food's terrible here. Oh, what do we do now, Mori? I think you should give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law. Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp. Yeah, and just about everybody in town, it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. They kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <gasps> when the wrestlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? Nelson, when we first came to your shop, you were working on something that wasn't a belt buckle. Oh, uh, mm. It was a barbell. In fact, it was that barbell right over there, wasn't it? Well, uh, yes, as a matter of fact, it was. I thought it would be good for the hot fish to get some exercise. A healthy body is very important. Are you saying I'm fat? Oh, no, no. I just, um... So that means Nelson Torso is Mr. Big? <laughs> That's right. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm afraid I am. Just Buckles hasn't been doing too well, you see. Since folks don't need very many Buckles around here, I thought I might have better luck as a hawkfish rancher. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. Yes, yes. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers. But we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out of my place. I'm glad this worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. It's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten gallon hats! Yours is a five gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! Come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play.
Ha <laughs> ha! 